Galen Merrick lives on in Star Wars Rebels. And trust me, it isn't in the way you would expect. Hello Star Wars fans, my name's Joel Robinson and this is Theory Crafting. Since the beginning of Star Wars Rebels, fans have been begging, pleading, pondering the return of everyone's favorite dark apprentice, Galen Merrick. Merrick was the main anti-hero of the video game series, The Force Unleashed. At the time of the game's release in 2008, Star Wars canon was changed forever as we learned that Darth Vader had a secret apprentice. The game went on to be a wild success, and a sequel was released in 2010. In 2014, everything changed when Disney bought Lucasfilm and basically reset the entire expanded universe, leaving only the movies and the Clone Wars TV show as a part of the official canon. Everything else was made a part of an alternative history called Legends, including the Force Unleashed games. But today, those legends are beginning to find new life in Rebels. Items from Legends are beginning to be re-canonized or made a part of the official canon. Even the character of Ahsoka Tano makes a tongue-in-cheek reference to Rebels' re-canonization of old Legends. There's always a bit of truth in Legends. So then, where in Rebels is Galen Merrick? Well, first, let's take a look at Ezra Bridger. Ezra is a young Jedi who is gifted with strong Force abilities. He's orphaned as a child by the Empire and is taught by a blind Jedi Master. So what does this all have to do with Galen Merrick? Well, although not physically in the show, Galen Merrick's story is being reshaped into Ezra's story. His character and his story is being given new life through the character of Ezra Bridger. Consider this like a retelling of the same story. The story team of Rebels is taking the storyline of Galen and expanding it and remixing it as the story of Ezra. I know some of you may be saying, but wait, how is that even possible if Ezra is not Darth Vader's apprentice? Well, there are two possibilities. Firstly, the story team is ignoring this portion of Galen's story. Or secondly, the story team is getting ready to make Ezra an apprentice to the dark side and possibly an apprentice to Vader through the form of being an inquisitor. As I have detailed in my previous video, available here, Ezra Bridger is definitely going to be tempted to the dark side in Rebels Season 3. If he indeed does fall to the dark side, he will become either a Sith or an Inquisitor. Of these options, the more likely of which would be that he becomes an Inquisitor. We also know that the Inquisitors are under direct control of Darth Vader. This is like a larger and less direct form of apprenticeship. In fact, one of the greatest evidences of the Force Unleashed being used for some of the story of the Inquisitors comes from Dave Filoni himself. When creating a lightsaber design for the Inquisitors in Rebels, Dave Filoni wanted something distinct and also familiar to Star Wars, and he turned to the Force Unleashed for inspiration. Dave Filoni said, It was an abandoned design that one of my designers had done. I know that she's brilliant at pushing the limits, and I said, Do you have any old lightsabers sitting around from the Force Unleashed? And she got out the old files, and I said, This one looks cool, like a very vicious Arobi or something. From this, it is clear that Dave Filoni has no problems of taking different elements, design, or story from the Force Unleashed series and any of the old Legends material. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you want to see more characters from Legends and the Force Unleashed in Rebels? This topic was suggested by Unbound Luxury and Frank Ludwig. Thank you both. And let me know down in the comments what other topics you would like for me to cover as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, may the Force be with you.